today on Catherine Learn Stuff, I'm going to walk you through how to make some cute bookmarks from some old cards that you've received. So let's jump in. So holiday and birthday season is over here at my house and we have all these extra cards left over. I always feel bad about throwing cards in the garbage after we get them because some of them are really nice. They've got nice sayings inside or they just have nice designs on them. So what I've started to do, a friend of mine told me, is she takes her cards and she makes them into bookmarks. So that's what we're going to do today. I have a whole bunch of these cute little cards with some nice flowers or some nice sayings that are on them. And so we're going to make them into bookmarks so that we can save them and use them instead of just throwing the cards in the garbage after the season is done. So this is pretty simple. Um, I'm just... I'm just gonna use my simple paper cutter, but you can use scissors. So I'm gonna quickly just demonstrate how I use scissors with some of these designs or how I use um, my paper cutter. It's a simple craft. I thought I'd show you it because I didn't think about this until someone told me. So let's jump in. So I'm gonna start with this card. This is a really cute card. I like these flowers. So I'm actually gonna just make some bookmarks out of these flowers and I don't need the sayings in this one and I also don't need the sayings inside the card. Um, I kind of just like the pictures. So I'm gonna just use my paper cutter for this one and I'm going to cut the edge of this flower out here like so. And there I've got one bookmark. And I like this flower as well. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. Cut this out and pull this part out just like that. And this flower is cute too, so I'm just gonna snip the side off. And now I've got three cute little bookmarks. Now, some of these, like this one for example, I don't want this, I want this phrase kept by itself, but I also want to keep these balloons. I'm gonna grab my scissors for this one. And I'm going to cut around some of the edges that I want to keep. So I've got a cute little saying like this. And now I can cut out these balloons as well. that I don't need and pull this through the paper cutter on the side. I'm just gonna round off these edges that I made so not so nice. And now again I've got some more bookmarks. Now I'm gonna keep doing this through the rest of my cards. You don't need to watch me do all that. And then we've got a whole bunch of bookmarks done. So we'll be right back in a second. And there you have it. We've made a whole bunch of bookmarks from our old cards. And all we simply need to do is grab a book, put a page in, and we're ready to go. And since I've got a bunch of books that we're using, this will come up quite in handy. Um, the one thing I want to point out is with cards like this one here, for example, it's got glitter on it. If you don't want this glitter coming off everywhere and like it's already coming onto my hands and it's staying all over the books, you can cover the card with Mod Podge or you can also laminate it if you've got a laminator and then just cut the edges around. Um, you can also make them fancier if you laminate them. You can put tassels on the outsides. I haven't done that, but you can if you'd like to, just to make the bookmarks last a little bit longer. But the nice thing about these ones is that if you lose them or if they get ruined over time, you can always make some more with the new cards that you get over time. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've liked this quick tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.